The Manchester Rail Trail is finished, open and in use. It runs from the Manchester Rec Park through Hunter Park and along the course of an old railroad bed originally built in the early 1900s to carry marble quarried in Dorset to Manchester for eventual reshipment. The path goes by Hunter Park for about two miles to Mount Aeolus Road and ends at North Road. The last section of the trail, which required a few bridges to be built across the streams that cut across the trail, was recently finished. Old Railroad Bed LLC, the legal entity formed to purchase the deteriorated railroad, has fixed up the trail and it is now open from end to end for walking, biking, or jogging, and it's getting used. But the path has been the subject of several legal battles and court cases over the years, as some of the abutting landowners sought to limit or restrict the development of the trail, citing privacy and security concerns. And that discussion isn't over yet. The project has been the subject of much study and analysis, including a group of hearings held last year, which sought to determine the cost and impact of the trail, as well as its recreational benefits. The old railroad bed group currently owns the trail, but is hoping to eventually turn it over to the town. Robin Verner, a Manchester resident and biking enthusiast, has been one of the principals of the ownership group, and he walked us through what was going on. Uh, surface, this, it, they call it, tend to call it shear pack, it's a, an aggregate, um, has a high content of marble, incidentally, making it look kind of white. It is now shear packed from end to end, right here from North Road all the way to um, the wreck area. Um, and uh, there were two stream crossings that were challenging and now there are bridges. Um, bridges have been put in for crossing. And so it's in really good shape. We've got, uh, um, we've got some historical signs. We've got um, warnings where they're needed. We've got stop signs. We've got uh, no trespassing signs where they're needed and that sort of thing. So it's really in, in really good shape and it's uh, getting a lot of use. Um, we basically built it for ourselves, uh, but there are lots of people that are using it, uh, just finding it and enjoying it. It's uh, offering a, a nice alternative to uh, the Equinox Preservation Trust, which is nice as well, but has gotten a lot of use. So uh, it's good. It's lovely. It's, it's, and it's scenic. That's what's really nice about it. We've been on a few, my wife and I have been on a few trails recently in other places, and some of them you don't get to see much. Here you do. Um, there's some nice views. Uh, down at the uh, big opening at the cornfield, there are beautiful views of uh, Mount Aeolus and uh, Mount Equinox, and uh, it's really quite lovely. Whether it eventually gets a town permit is another question, one the Manchester Development Review Board has opted to review again sometime in August, after a discussion during their meeting on June 10th didn't yield a decision on that. Robin Verner explained why the old railroad bed group was seeking a town permit. Um, <laughs> tricky question. We've been asked to get a permit. If you build a trail on your own property in Vermont, you don't need a permit. But this trail has become more popular, more people have been walking it, and um, so the zoning administrator has asked us to get a permit, to apply for a permit. Uh, the other issue is that we're hoping uh, at some point, possibly next spring, that the town will acquire um, the trail. I mean, we didn't we didn't buy a rail trail because we wanted to own a rail trail. We bought the property and made it into a rail trail because if we didn't, nobody else would have. So we kind of, I guess, took the bull by the horns and created this thing, but now um, we're expecting that the town will purchase it from us. So uh, if, if, it, if these, zoning permit doesn't get passed until the town takes it over, that would be fine too. Meanwhile, the trail is open during daylight hours with some interesting historical signage and also encouragement to keep your voices muted and to be mindful that the trail does traverse and border private properties and homes situated nearby. For the GNAT TV News Project, I'm Andrew McKeever.